are you going? What will you do? Hey, it's Megan. Brings the world to you. Hello, everyone. It's Megan. I'm at Epcot right now. I am looking forward to today. Um, I'm going to have lunch at Spice Road, I think is the name of it, in Morocco. It's kind of a goal um, to eat at all the countries in the World Showcase. So I'm going to give Morocco a goal today, or a go today. So being that I was on the way to Morocco, I figured since it's a hot day outside, I'll stop by uh, the Lands Pavilion and ride living with the, uh, living with the lands. We are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive one day become home to the American farm. Forces at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use and sometimes over. farming, you probably don't think of fish, but fish farming, or aquaculture, accounts for nearly half of all the seafood consumed globally. Tilapia, bass, and catfish, like the ones you see here, are three of the more popular crops raised by fish farmers. Their way up, innovative growing techniques like these increase yields, while more efficiently using resources like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects that prey on harmful pests like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year in this one small area. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plants, and the plants help keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, So now that I'm done with the living in the land. I'm going to go ahead and start looking my way over uh, to the World Showcase to get the ranch. So I'm just going to kind of hang out for a little bit. Uh, I'm just to 
have an idea. Spice row table of the menu. Saffron. I have a lot of this at my house. So this is what the menu looks like. It's small plates. And then drink some of the backside. I think I want to get ice mint tea. It comes with uh, gin, but I think you could also get it without gin. Yep, at the bottom, you could get it without gin as well. I might get the pomegranate acai, acai, um, just because I'm more of a run person. So I think that's what I'll get. So I got the spicy shrimp. The waiter like actually suggested that. I also got the non spray. I went with like light food just because it is so hot. I didn't want to like eat something heavy. So this is the uh, watermelon acai. It comes with like vitamin water rum, that kind of drink. So this is a super refreshing drink. I like it a lot. It works perfectly like on a like hot summer day. So I had forgotten the name of it. I said watermelon acai. It's pomegranate uh, acai. That's what it is. So the spicy shrimp. And it looks like maybe these are pan bread maybe? Yeah, little pieces of bread. And then that's the non spread. I will say this the shrimp, if you are prone to not liking spicy food, this may not be it. So lunch was super good. I'm not sure if my phone, if my camera picked up the last bit of that because it just died. But the food was good, everything was good, super tasty. Clouds will come in, so no direct sunlight right now, which means temperatures have dropped just slightly, which is a good thing. I do like spicy food, so eating this is no big deal for me, but I just wanted to give fair warning. It is on the spicy side. Now everything was good, but I will say just because I can. Um, the naan is not house-made, it's store-bought. It is Disney, I get it. But take that as you will. So lunch was really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. The drink was fabulous. The shrimp was fabulous. All that jazz. Clouds are overhead. So the sun is blocked. Which means the temperatures have dropped just slightly. Hey Daisy, how's it going? It's nice to see you again. It's been a minute. <laughs> Do you mind holding this for me? Are you recording? Yeah, it's recording. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, this is so easy. Hi, Minnie. How are you doing? It's always nice to see you. It's good to e see you too. Even when I'm sweaty and it's so hot outside, it's always good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to take a photo for yeah. you. Oh, you look Got it. So thank you. Nice to see you, Minnie. You're my favorite. I told Disney or Daisy that you two were top tier BFFs and they were my favorite. It You're is favorite. true. Yeah. It's like best friend goals right there. I've heard some rumbling in the skies. The skies are getting dark. I think rain's about to come. I'll probably start making my way around to the front of the park. Call it a day. Well, before heading out, let's ride the seas. Shall we?
I don't like snakes, not a fan of snakes. So, not a fan of a eel. Here's another one. All right, friends, I made it to the front of the park. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off for this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the jazz. It helps me in this YouTube-iverse. Uh, so until next time, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.